Hey folks, the Trace Monk here, playing some more Pillars of Eternity. Right. And we had just turned in that little task for Whale. And now I think we're going to explore some of the area near Deerford Crossing. out of here. Oh, wait. Mm. Come here first. We're gonna rest, get rid of this fatigue that we've got, this minor and major fatigue that everybody's got right now. It has been a hectic weekend. Greetings. All right, we'll go with. We'll go with the merchant stay because it'll add to our resolve. And exit. Later this afternoon, uh, I should have the first part of a Witcher series going up. That is taking a little bit more editing than some of these others. Oh no, Deerford Village. Yeah, okay. So we'll check out Deerford Crossing. Yeah, I think this is obviously like a story gate here, Stonewall Gorge, the fact that this is all flooded, because I'm pretty sure this is the third part of the story. The third and last part is dealing with stuff in Twin Elms. Uh, you know what, before we actually make the journey, let's check this. We Do, do we have something building here? Um, yeah, one day, 16 hours, we're fin gonna finish the dungeons. Uh, that only takes that long. That takes six hours. Okay, well, nothing's going to. We'll, we'll stop in the village for just a moment because I think that task will finish, and I don't know what will happen with that. Yeah, we have no events currently pending. Okay, I don't think that actually does anything for us. In which case, we'll just go out here and come out on the other side. But yes, very hectic weekend. Okay. Margarine's fire cast light in How's our... Places. Yeah, okay. Our arrangement is okay. So we're looking for an ogre and possibly a drake's nest. What are you? Stone beetles. Oh, more stone beetles. This is something that I spotted in, um, what's his name's? Uh, Super Bunny Hops video here was the ability to rotate your positioning. I kind of want to come up here and encounter these beetles <laughs> and hope that there's nothing too bad there. Let's move Edder out here. You. Start shifting. You can give them the finger. Sorry, endurance can give them the finger. And uh, let's see. I don't know that she can. That's a little too far away. Anyway. 
anyway. We'll just take... Yeah. Huh. attack him. Yep. Actually, he might need to get that. Uh, purge of toxins, nature. of all damage reapplied. Phantom foes. How, how does the, this work? Okay. That ought to be useful. Why am I not doing anything with Aloft? Because his picture isn't where I'm expecting it to be. No. This would be good if you were up closer. You need to move right about there. Cease! Okay. 
chairs. Uh, better actually get over there. Oh, did that? Does that not last forever? Duration: eighteen point eight seconds. Oh. Okay, I didn't realize the spirit shifts didn't just continue to last. still going on. That is, like, kind of a power. Can't wait to get more uses of that for real. Because we have seriously been... Let us see. So we're looking for an ogre and we're looking for like a drake nest. Both those things feel like massive steps up from what we've been doing previously. Oh yes, the deer sees us. I'm so worried about the deer seeing us. Is there something to the north? No, not through that exit anyway. Lots of beetles. Come on, see us. finger. What are these? I forget. Expose vulnerabilities. Arduous delay of motion. It's not as big as the other one. Um, let's cancel anything we've told him to do. That's the let's get user centered AOE. No, so don't do that yet. Um, let's see. Thunder Lesser Blight, Burst of Summer Flame. Small little area of effect. That is what? What is this? Blizzard.
cast this Whisper of Treason? Wood beetles, stone beetles. Let's cast it on this stone beetle here, and you start attacking that one. But also do your job. Buddy. Is Ghost Blades a foe AoE? Oh, it is. Okay, so you move forward. Hey! Jeez. Ghost Blades. Arabius has moved to the place where this is useful. This thing move forward. To alarm you, but I mm, Aloth. We're still in the middle of casting that. Okay. Uh uh. Aravius is casting. To consecrated ground. I'm slowly dying. Aloth finished that. Let's hit over here. I guess the stone beetle is working for us. No, no, no. Dang it. Smash that. Well, I guess I can't uh, roll that. I guess it's she tied up controlling Tied up, tied up controlling that thing. Oh, okay, no, she was still casting. Let's attack that one. And... Endurance is still going. Okay, Haravius finished that ability. Transform. Merrick finished his. That's fine. Endurance. Armor of Faith. Get everybody in here. And I'm intending to rest after this, so. I'm just gonna dump all these spells out right now. Okay. Merrick finished what he was doing. Sure. Take all of it. Come on. Find it. Yeah. If secrets whisper here, I shall listen for them. And 
Yeah, we're gonna rest. Oh! You awake to see Durance, his staff held in both of his hands before him. A flame flickers at its top end, casting long shadows across his face as he stares in contemplation. Still, for all the light of the fire, your eyes can't focus on him. Perhaps it is awakening from sleep or a trick of the light, but he seems indistinct, blurred around the edges, everything except for the staff. The staff. He seems to be studying its engravings. As you watch, the engravings glow thinly red like the cracks of heat-suffused wood. The lines stream like molten metal burning along the edges of his staff, then branch out in a series of intricate, fiery veins, bunching thickly where his hands clutch the wood, pulsing as if a heartbeat. As you watch, the veins spiral into a dozen separate circles, circles that spiral again until they are arranged into a circle of their own. They pulse, wait, and all is strangely silent, and... And then suddenly there is a great light from the fire, a rushing of air, a great flash, and you awaken again. To see Durance in the same place, still holding his staff, but he is solid, real. He doesn't seem to have noticed you, or reacted to what occurred. Interesting. We'll have to talk to Durance next time. When we play some more Pillars of Eternity. Thank you for joining me, folks. Bye-bye.